Hi, I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just painting a picture today and going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says... Is it true when you mix all the colors you always get white? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need three clear glasses, some water, and an assortment of food coloring. Okay, so you might think that when you mix all the colors, you get white. But hold on to that thought for just one second. Start by getting yourself three glasses. One, two, three. Okay, when we mix red and green... Wait, what? Okay, when we mix red and green... Okay, when we mix blue and green light, we get aqua. So, let's mix blue and green. All right, we get aqua. Okay, when we mix red and yellow light, we get orange. So, let's mix red and yellow. Oh yeah, we get orange. Now, when we mix red and blue light, we get purple. So, let's go ahead and mix red and purple. Red and blue. Three, two. So, let's go ahead and mix red and blue. Yeah, we get purple. Okay, so when we mix all the colors of light, we get white. So, let's mix all the colors. And we get black! So, why do we get black? Should we get white? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Mixing colors of paints or dyes is called subtractive color mixing because the chemicals absorb most of the light that hits them. When all the colors are absorbing the light at the same time, none of the light is going to bounce back and therefore giving you a dark color or black. This is why most of the colors are actually darker. Pigments are also what give fruits their colors, such as the orange and oranges, the yellow and bananas, and the green and apples. So now you know more about subtractive color mixing. You know, mixing colors and not getting white is why science is so cool.